Enthusiasm on display in Canberra. Excellent! Even with most of the attention focused further south. By-elections are always difficult for incumbent governments. The Prime Minister and Opposition Leader making multiple appearances in the Labor-held Melbourne electorate of Dunkley in recent weeks, campaigning spilling onto the floor of Parliament today. Only this side of the House cares about doing something about the cost of living pressures that people confront. The Federal Opposition turning to immigration to prosecute a point, insisting the government's approval of half a million visas in the last year is exacerbating hip pocket pain in Dunkley. The average weekly cost to rent a unit in Frankston rising from $350 when Labor came to government to $420 Order. today. No, no. They think if they blow the dog whistle hard enough that the good people of Dunkley won't recognise and won't realise that those opposite have said that they'll wind back our tax cuts. Saturday's poll will be the first opportunity for voters to have their say on the Prime Minister's reshaped income tax cuts. They'll happily pocket whatever it is that the government hands out, but they won't thank them for a broken promise. We are giving a tax Order, cut members on my to left. some 13.6 million Australian taxpayers. While the by-election will deliver a new face to this place, the future of one long-term MP remains under a cloud. Nationals frontbencher Barnaby Joyce's recent late-night misadventure, mixing alcohol and medication, leading to a leave of absence. Appearing on morning TV, but not on Capitol Hill. He's notified me that he won't be coming to pub, he's having the week off. Not following the former Prime Minister to the exit just yet, with Scott Morrison wrapping his parliamentary career this week. Matthew Doran, ABC News, Canberra.